Let's talk about the addition rule in this video. So in the previous video, we learned one of the logical operators of union. And over here, we can see the Venn diagram, which shows that A union B is denoted in a Venn diagram like this. Now, what does A union B mean? Union is basically or. So you are looking at A or B. And what is or? Or always depicts addition. So can't you say that the probability of A union B is technically the probability of A plus the probability of B? But if you notice that A union B and A plus B is technically adding this intersection twice because this intersection that you can see over here is included in the probability of A and it is included in the probability of B. So it is technically being added twice because you are not looking at it as one union right now. You are looking at it as two individual events. And therefore to avoid adding, therefore to avoid adding this intersection twice, we will need to minus, we will need to minus this intersection once. And this is how the additional rule comes about. That the probability of A union B, the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus your intersection because it is being counted twice. So to avoid repetition, you need to minus it once. Now that we've understood what the addition rule is, let's solve an example question. This is the information given to us that there are a total number of 20 students out of which there are 11 girls and 9 boys. And out of those girls and boys, there are 3 girls who study math and there are 4 boys who study math. So now the question says, find the probability that the person chosen studies math. So let's have a look at our pool of interest. How many people study math? Well, we can clearly see that there are three girls and four boys who study math. So there are a total of seven students or seven people out of 20 who study math. So our probability is 7.20. And now let's look at part B. Part B is asking us the probability that the pr student chosen or the person chosen is a girl. Well, we can clearly see that there are 11 girls out of 20. So our probability becomes 11 over 20. So these two were easy. Now let's have a look at part C. Probability that the person chosen is a girl who studies math. A girl who studies math. So if you can see here, this is technically asking us to find the intersection of a girl who studies math, which means she's a girl and she studies math and being intersection. Well, we have that right over here. A girl who studies math is basically three, right? So we write it as the probability of math and girl. So there are three out of 20. And that is our answer. Now for the last one, it says person chosen is girl or studies math. So now we have the case of our union, which is where the addition rule comes into place. Is math or is a girl? So that means this is the case of union where you have to use the addition rule. So what does the addition rule say? The probability you need to find that she studies math, that the student studies math or is a girl, which means probability of getting a math student or which means plus a girl, but you have to minus the intersection because that is what the addition rule says. So let's put in all our values. We have all of these numbers, seven over 20 plus 11 over 20 minus 3 over 20. We found all of these values in A, B, and C. Your answer becomes 3 upon 4. So this is how the addition rule is applied. It is not necessary that you will always know what the union of two events are, but if you have their individual probabilities as well as their intersection, then you can easily find the unions. 